Hi, I'm Ken Moore, Chief Technology Officer for Optical Engineering at Radiant ZMAX. I'm going to provide an overview of some of the breakthrough new features found in the IE edition of ZMAX 12. These are the features I will introduce today. Integrated Radiant Source Models, New Analysis Features, the SOLIDWORKS Part Link, and the Script Object Editor. Let's start with integrated support for Radiant Source Models. The Radiant Source Model is the most accurate light source data available. Rather than using an approximate or parametric source model, the Radiant Source Model is actual near and far field data measured with Radiant ZMAX's calibrated source imaging goniometer. We have collected more than 200 different Radiant Source Model data sets from 14 major manufacturers and placed all of this data in our online database and we continue to add more data. You can browse this online database and download any of the Source Model data. Once you have downloaded the Radiant Source Model, ZMAX can read this data directly, a capability no other illumination design software supports. Let's look at some of the features we can use to take advantage of this data. Unlike static ray sets provided by some lamp vendors, ZMAX can generate custom ray sets. Choose any number of rays, angular or wavelength range, and get calibrated, accurate photometric and spectral data sets that can then be used in your design in ZMAX. Here is a near field image. You can actually see what the lamp looks like from any viewing angle. Note this source is in full color with correct spectral measured data in both the near and the far field. ZMAX can also show you directivity, polar, and other plots. Now let's briefly look at just three of the major new analysis features, reverse radiance, path analysis, and the illumination map. Reverse radiance is a breakthrough new feature that vastly speeds up certain types of analysis. Rather than tracing millions of rays from source to detector, reverse radiance traces the rays backwards from the region of interest to the source. Path analysis sorts rays from a ZRD file into groups, where each group is defined by the path the ray took through the optical system. Path analysis makes quick work of finding out how unwanted light was able to reach any region of interest. The paths are sorted by flux, number of objects, and other options. The illumination map takes one or more sources, including radiant source models, IES, or LDT files, and simulates the projection of these sources on a screen. The feature does not use ray tracing and is thus extremely fast. Now I'd like to show you our dynamic link to SOLIDWORKS we call PartLink. Most programs require the user to export the part from SOLIDWORKS as an IGES file, and then import the static part into the ray tracing program. We decided there was a better way, leave the part in SOLIDWORKS. Using PartLink, anytime the part is changed in SOLIDWORKS, ZMAX is updated to get the new geometry without needing to manually export, import, or translate the part. The part stays in SOLIDWORKS, but ZMAX can render and ray trace it. This eliminates a lot of data translation hassles, and it is quick and easy to use. Even better, any defining dimension in SOLIDWORKS may be dynamically modified from ZMAX. This means the part can be modified inside the ZMAX environment without needing to go back to SOLIDWORKS. Finally, I want to show you our new integrated script object feature. Using an easy to learn scripting language, you can create a wide range of simple to complex parts. For many cases, this is far easier and faster to do within the script object editor than it is to do in a CAD program. This editor uses simple script commands that build a geometrical object step by step. A wide range of commands are supported, including geometric primitives and standard optical shapes. The script language allows scaling, moving, rotating, copying, and mirroring. Boolean operations such as union and difference are also supported. The editor has a powerful visualization tool that makes verifying the script easy, including a ghost rendering feature that helps you visualize how the script commands change the part. One of the most powerful features of the script object is the concept of exported parameters. By declaring a parameter in the script, the declared value appears in the NSC editor. This allows dynamic modification or even optimization of arbitrary constructional parameters in the script. This feature also allows one script to describe many different parts. Once the script is created, it can be read into ZMAX. Optical properties may be defined in the usual way, and of course the part may be ray traced. Note the declared parameters appear in the NSC editor, and we can dynamically modify or optimize the part. Those are the major new features in ZMAX 12 IE. 
I hope you enjoy using ZMAX as much as we have enjoyed creating the software for you.